My name is Lawrence Chen, and I'm really thrilled to share with you the new um, Tofu Blog Theme version 3. So I actually put a lot of thought into this one, and there is a lot of marketing aspects that's packed into this one blog theme. Uh, before I even begin talking about the benefits of this theme, I want to mention that it is full JavaScript based, therefore it's iPad, smartphone, iPhone, as long as there's a phone with a browser, it'll work. So there's no flash whatsoever in here and everything is compatible with uh, modern browsers. So let's just talk about the menu bar right now. On the very top, I used a large typography. That way navigation will be really easy for people to see. On top of it, I also narrow down the choices. Usually there's something called paralysis by analysis whereas a person cannot decide because of too many choices and I actually have this problem myself whenever I go to restaurants I I have a menu and I, I always have trouble picking out which item to choose and in the end I just tell my girlfriend I say Julie why don't you just choose which item you want to eat for me too as long as I get to have half of yours that's the only condition I have and the reason why is because the more choices you have it's hard to commit to something for example, if I were to commit to a burrito, that means I'm losing out on my tamale, taquitos, and all those other choices that make me happy too. So that's why I've narrowed down the menu to very specific um, marketing-oriented type links. And as you can see, I'm scrolling down right now, the menu bar actually follows. And the reason why I did this too is because when people are scrolling, looking through images, they're going to lose navigation. I kept it on top that way people can always find where to go next. And going down to the middle area, you can see a slideshow. Now this is full JavaScript as well. And the cool thing is when you roll over it, it'll actually stop. And you can set a link to this. That's something that other um, plugins or even other blog themes don't allow. And the reason why I chose to do this is because just in case if you have a really cool blog post or a really cool category, just say a portfolio category for only weddings you want to display, you can set a link here. And it can people can just click directly to that post or to that category where you can show videos, your portfolio, and etc. And you can upload every image, you can also set alt tags for them. Everything is customizable from the back end. Scrolling down, we have a two column blog theme. On the left side, we can upload your own your own logo and there's also your own profile. I encourage a lot of transparency because people really book you for your personality and etc. So we have the blog post title, we have the date, and we have the content. Oh, and all of this is customizable in the back end and I'm going to show you a preview of it too. That way you can change font, color, font text, font family, font, everything you want, size, all that. It Host 640 pixel wide pictures. Now it's a little bit smaller than my original theme. And the reason why I did this is because when I originally created Jose Villa's blog theme, I realized that having smaller images is actually not too bad because first it loads quicker, and two, if you have images right one after another, it actually has a sequential feel to it. It tells a story rather than having huge or too huge of images that take up the entire screen. And from my understanding, from my analytics on Google, a lot of people don't have 30-inch or 27-inch cinema displays, so this is actually pretty beneficial. So I'd also have some block test quotes, you know, some numbering if you want to check out. Now this is the other cool part. Right below every single post, I have three buttons that help navigate. Now a lot of times when, let's just say, even if you use SEO and people find your blog post, they're just going to read it, they're going to scroll down, look through your beautiful images, but when they get down to the bottom, what exactly is there to do for them? They can either do three things. One, scroll all the way back up in hopes to find a contact button or an about button or an investment button, or they're going to leave a comment, which is highly unlikely, or leave your website. There's something called the three clicks of death. If it takes a user more than three clicks to find something, they're going to leave your website. Therefore, you want to make it accessible as quickly and as easily as possible. So right here I have three buttons and you can change these buttons too and customize whatever you like in there. But personally, I like to keep view portfolio in case you have a flash portfolio or something or category, how I do it in a blog post. 
there is a contact me button straight to the point if they want to contact me and want to get some um, uh, inquiry information or whatever case they can contact me directly or they can go scroll back to top and this is also JavaScript I'm just going to click on it just to let you see so it can go back to the top in case they need to see something they missed from the beginning maybe the profile again these are all changeable you can also change a link you can change everything in here now the last part right before I talk about the next post I also have the tags categories and comments a lot of times people have been telling me that they don't want to put too many tags in case they have to or they want to but it looks ugly because it just gets in the way now what I've added here is an accordion or a JavaScript based accordion where you can click on it notice how it expands so you can still have your SEO optimization and you can still allow people to comment and view comments etc or you can just close it which is no harm done and I also have an image breaker here so in case you want to separate each of your posts with something or you want to put an ad there for example you can do that too you can upload any image you want and it's very pretty sweet the back the back end and I'm actually gonna to go to it right now just to give you a quick preview so under appearance the drop down list is the Tofiris theme options right here once we click on that I mean I already have it loaded but it's just gonna refresh right now you have rotating images you can set the link or where you want the image to go to. You can set the alt tag, you can delete them, and you can even swap them around, move them around like a shuffleboard. And the cool thing is, is that this is complete Ajax, so that way you can upload new images without actually leaving the website or the refreshing the web page. Now you can turn the rotator on, posts, pages, archives, or searches, or turn them all off, that's fine. This is where you can up, uh, update your profile with images. This is an area where you can upload your own logo, set links to them too, just in case if you uh, want to go somewhere else. But by default, it goes back to the home page. You can also set your Twitter. I mean, I have mine right now, but you can set yours in there. And this is a very cool area. This is actually a live preview of the website. And you can make changes in here. Let's just say if I want to change the content or the title to red. Notice how right here it changed to red right away everything is customizable from here and you can actually see the changes before they're actually implemented you can change the font family here so right now it's in using Georgia if I'd like to switch it to Arial or something I can see it's just updated right there going lower under categories let's for, say for example you have engagements, weddings, pets, family although I wouldn't condone um, displaying all of those categories if you want to hide some of them you can select which categories to show and hide the rest now this is the post for this, this is where you can control the navigation under every single post and you can again upload your own images and you can set the direction of text and if you want to just go back to top it's hashtag top and it's already set by default so in case you do forget it you can always refer back to there post separates you can change that in case you have trackers like Google Analytics or something like that sort, you can paste codes in the header or in the footer. And lastly, click Save Changes and all will be updated. So I hope you enjoy this and if you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment or Twitter me.